Hello, and this tutorial is about how to create the skull effect using blending as you see in the video right now. And the link to this video is on my main channel and also I put the link in the description. Enjoy. So basically, this is how I created the skull effect on Mr. Bean and how I blended it in, which is the main point. So what I firstly done was he's got to cut around Mr. Bean's head quickly and always use masks when erasing stuff. That's like the number one rule to erasing on the Photoshop is to work in a mask because it's easily retraceable. So next step, just get the picture of the mask, delete the white background with the magic wand tool, make sure the layers are locked. Move it across onto Mr. Bean's face, adjust it and resize it. So I'm going to put it on his jaw. So I'm going to drop the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. So I don't have to keep on keep on clicking on and off the layers. So that looks all right. I suppose. Yeah, that do for now. Then once you've done that, just put the opacity back up to 100%. And then what I want to do is I want this bottom half. So I need to erase this. Get a mask. Use black because black is to erase and white is to reveal or bring back get a hard brush then you just want to erase the top half of the skull very quickly and you need you need an overlap basically so because say say I only want this bit Say if I only want this bit left and blend it in, then to do that I should have an overlap of this. This is my overlap here. Jesus. This is my overlap here that I want to leave. Because it, cause it gives me room to blend in with the skull and the skin tone. So make sure you have overlap. And for blending in, it's probably best to do it on the Wack and Bamboo tablet because it's much easier and you have more control. So basically, what you want to do is just get a soft brush to around 75, drop the opacity to around 30s or 40s, and the flow around about 40. And then, once you've done that, make sure you're in the mask layer. And then, oh, first of all, you got to change. You want to change the color of this of the skull to sort of match the skin color. You won't get it perfect, but you can get it pretty close. And click on, go on to the black and white circle. And go down to hue and saturation, and make sure this this thing down here. Make sure this thing down here. You click it so the black thing has gone to the bottom because if you don't click it this is what happens when you try and change the colour it changes everything and when you do click it down then it, it, it will only change the colour of the skull so you want to change the colours to about minus to about minus 36 for the hue and for the saturation change it to about plus 50 and you won't get a perfect match obviously but it's pretty close then once you've done that go on the mask layer of the skull then with your soft brush you just just brush over the hard line that that separates the skull and the face so you want to erase a hard line and this is where you blend into that overlap. 
you just keep on blending and blending you just drag with the mouse pad or if you got a, if you don't have a bamboo with, with, with the mouse pad and with the bamboo you just make circles and just go over it until it blends in properly like this like that and if you decide you want the node of the skull back just click on white and if you want to do it quickly just up the opacity you can quickly get it back like that and yeah so that's basically how you do the skull it's pretty easy hope you liked it bye bye